What good are smart home devices if there's no automations behind them? It's literally just a sensor giving you a reading and it impacts nothing in your life. Today, we're gonna make some automations with those door sensors I installed in the last video and actually do something with them. Hi, if you're new here, my name's Sam and I make videos about technology, smart home devices, and really any sort of gear that could help improve your life or make things easier. Lately, I've been building out my own smart home for the first time as a complete beginner and trying to automate more things in my life to make things easier. If that sort of thing interests you, make sure you subscribe and follow along and join the journey into the smart home revolution. The other day at work, I was sitting there, you know, writing code as I do, and I realized I hadn't seen my dogs in a while. And it kind of got me to thinking, what's going on? Where are they? Uh, are, are my doors open? So I went over to Home Assistant, checked the dashboard, saw that they're closed. So then I was like, hmm, what's the point of having these door sensors if I have to constantly be staring at the dashboard in order to figure out if they're open or not? So got an Amazon, got myself some smart bulbs. These are Zigbee related. They are Senglads and they are RGB for all of the colored knees in your lighting situation. Uh, Today's goal, we're going to create an automation that turns on a light bulb based off of the door's open status. And then I'm gonna throw in an automation where they'll both turn on and change color if both doors are open for more than 10 seconds. So first things first, let's get the light bulbs installed and added to a uh, home assistant. All right, now that that's all going, we will get into Home Assistant and get the device set up. All right, I got the uh, screen record going, so we'll go into settings, we'll go down to device, we'll add a device, and it's a Zigbee device, so it should just show up automatically. And there it is. Starting, I love Zigbee. Such a big fan of this, initializing and we are ready. Heck yeah. Okay, now just to repeat the process with the uh, second bulb and get them all named and into the system. All right, now that those light bulbs are set up, let's get into the dashboard. As you can see, here are the door sensors, both reading is closed, some lights, and here are those um, sensors a little bit more in depth. These are the uh, light bulbs on this side. So we're going to go down to settings and we're going to go into not devices and services into automations and scenes. So now that we're in the scenes, you can see that there are, I mean, automations, you can see there's just the two studio light ones that turn these lights on. I'm going to come down here and do create automation new. We're going to go to trigger and we're going to search for a device and we are going to do the front door. When the front door is opened, then we'll go down to this action and Normally I would do the device, but because these are lights, we're going to go into the light and we're going to do turn on. So we're going to do turn on, we're going to choose our device and we're going to come down here and do the front door indicator. And down here, you can see that there are all of these options rather than just turning things on or off. So what we're going to do is we are going to set a color and we're going to come in here and we're going to going somewhere in this direction down here. And then brightness. Since I'm sitting right next to it, I'm gonna put this way down. And then we're going to save it. We're gonna do front door open, save. And then we can come over here and we can click run and see it's turned on. Uh, since we don't have anything to turn it off, we're going to come back in here and we're going to just turn it off manually. So next we're going to go into automations and we're going to do the inverse of that. We're going to turn it off. So we're going to go to the device. We are going to do front door again. Um, this time we're going to do after five seconds. So that way it's not immediately because a lot of times you're going to go in and out of the door or you might prop it open because you're talking to Amazon or something. So. We want to make sure the door's been shut for five seconds and it's not like a bunch of repeated and then this thing's just strobing on us. So we'll do that. Then we'll come down to this light and we will just turn off. We'll choose the device and we will do front door again. We don't care about transition because I just want it instantaneously off. Uh, I tried this flash earlier and it wasn't 
what you would expect. So we're just gonna not mess around with it. So then we're gonna do front door closed. And then we can come up here, we can go back and we're gonna do front door open. We're gonna run it, turns on. Then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna do front door closed and it turned off. So now we're just gonna repeat that same thing for the uh, garage door. For this one, we're just gonna change, choose a different color just so it's a little more obvious that it's different. And then again, we're gonna do the uh, brightness way down and save and we'll do garage door open. Now we can run this, it's turned on, perfect. Now before we're going back and manually turning it off, we're just gonna do that straight from here. So again, create automation, trigger, device, garage door. Again, five second delay. And then we're gonna add an action. We're gonna do turn off the light, choose the garage door, and we are going to save. And then we can come up here and click run. Perfect. Now, the final step is we're gonna do if both doors are open. So we're gonna do create new automation, we're gonna do trigger, and we're gonna do device. Go into front door, then we're gonna come down here to, oh, we're gonna say that it's been open for 10 seconds, just to give us a little wiggle room. Maybe there's people doing chores and whatever. So, and if we're gonna do another device, we're gonna to go to garage door, and we're gonna also say this has been open for 10 seconds. We're gonna come down here, then do, light, we're gonna turn on, we're gonna choose the front door indicator, we're gonna to go to color, we're gonna go way up here, and we'll leave everything else the same, and then we'll add another action for a light, turn on, and then choose device, and garage indicator. Oh, let's try it that way. See, I'm learning with you. Delete, we're gonna come up here and then choose device and we're gonna do both of them. So we're gonna click save and we're gonna do both doors open. We're gonna click save. Now we're gonna come over here and run. Boom, both of them are red. All right, cool. So then I should be able to go to the closed one on just one and it turns off and then we can come down to the other one. Oh, whoops whatever, run. Okay, cool. We got it working like from here, but in software, nothing is ever tested and until it's been put to use in the real world. So we are going to leave the camera on the lights rolling and we're gonna head upstairs and try it with the actual doors. All right, so first things first, we're gonna try the garage door. I uh, got Home Assistant here so we can see that it's now reading open. Garage door close. All right, so that one's working. And there we have it, a very simple safety-minded automation. A door opening triggers a light bulb next to my desk to indicate that the doors are open. If they're both open, red. Uh, I really liked this automation because it kind of pushed my skills and it opened up a new avenue because before it was just turn on or off. But now we have some indication where we can change colors, change brightness. I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do with these singlets. I've got a couple ideas for the theater room based off of what I'm watching with sports. Uh, 
If you've made it this far, thank, thank you for watching. Please drop a like and a comment on what I should do next. I'm actually in the market for some smart locks so I can further improve the safety of my house. So if you have any brands that you like or ones that I should definitely avoid, please let me know and maybe I'll buy a couple of them and do a comparison video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you around the bend.